Start up the recording. So we are playing uh, pretty much an updated list of Tron here. Um, this was submitted by Big Monkey three six nine. So we're gonna play his list or his or her. I don't actually know. I should assume. Um, and let me go ahead and quickly update our MTGO. I mean our not man, MTGO, but our mana trader mana stream decker. Losing my mind here. All right, and let's jump into a league with this. The well, actually, just real quick. Um, as far as what's uh, all right, he. Um, as far as what's in this deck here, we got four force, one blast zone, ghost quarter, sanctum, Tron land. So no uh, factory. Um, the standard stirring, scrying, sphere, star, and maps. We've got one relic, one dismember, three O stones, three Karn, great creator, three worms, and then after that, four big Karn, two Ugans, two ballistas, and two Ulamogs. Over in the sideboard, we've got a trim down um, board here. As far as the wish board goes, we're on three claims, two veils, two weathers, and one thrag, and one emerical as far as our non-targets go. And then in the targets, we have relic, liquid metal, sorceress by glass, ensnaring bridge, trinosphere, and Michelson. Um, I think this might be the way to go with these kind of decks right now. You just don't need... If you get a lattice or a liquid metal, you're pretty much just going to win most of the time anyway. Tron piece map. Yeah, I think this is good enough. We are down to five cards. This is most likely an awkward forming Tron hand, but it should form Tron. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I see how you are, deck. Still gonna farm it, but once again, still awkward. Are we against burn? And they didn't have a turn one play? plant pass it over oh, this is fine like I'm just really confused that they had no turn one play it must have had like a mix of like skewer Eidolon if they had a rift bolt they definitely would have suspended it We're just going to card an uptick. I imagine the rest of their hand is ammo. I'm not going to go down. Because we're not really under that much pressure. And taking cards out of their hand at this point should be all ammo. I was wrong. That was a Sunbaked Canyon. Go to 11, the 9, and then they have two cards in hand. <sighs> sure. I'm so unlucky. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so we're at four. Mm-mm-mm. Let's take the redraw from them. Ballista. Yes. It doesn't even matter, right? We have worm coil, but I don't know if we're gonna get that extra turn. All right, let's see what they got. I didn't take one of their creatures because I can just uh, hit it with ballista. I can take out both targets. Ah, we got there! <laughs> uh, all right, weather the storm. Thrag tusk. Nature's claims. Get rid of that. 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 Uh, Ugin, Ugin. I think I'm gonna bring in the Emrakul and trim an Ulamog. Let's try all of that. Debatably, we shouldn't be keeping in great creators here. But I guess we can go for the lock. It doesn't seem great. I actually haven't played very much since the changes. All right, well, we got to weather the storm, so I'm going to keep this hand. I want to see how good this card is. This hand's kind of awkward, but I'm curious if we can gain like the nine or so life that I'm thinking. Yeah, Trinosphere seems good. Oh, we got another Weather the Storm? Oh my goodness. Question is if it's enough though. All right, we're going to pass it back. If they cast three spells, don't pop map, weather the storm. I can't see there. there is a storm count. Is there a storm count? I think there is, right? I don't think we do anything. I think we just take the damage. I think we pop off one weather here though, because they're just holding up. And then they will let down their guard, and then we go for it. Cast a spell upon it. Oh no, they passed.
sure. Hard casting the rift bolt, sure. Mm -mm -mm. Got a star. We'll crack it anyway. And weather. Get us five one more turn, and then we can land this Thrag Tusk. Casting a rift bolt again? Oh my gosh. We're going to one? That's an O stone. I definitely don't want an O stone. Man, we're at seven. We're still dead to a burn spell, though. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess I should have cracked that to prevent all smashes from being dead. Oh. Yeah, we could have sequenced that a little bit better. There was no reason to keep the chromatic star at that point. I should have cracked it. Well, we've got turn three Tron with Karn, so let's see if we're good at magic. This is, uh, this is really where, you know, intensity comes in. Yeah, we gained so much life and we still lost. <laughs> Did we gain 20 life? I think, I think we only gained... 9, 12, 17. We gained 17 life. It's amazing gaining set that much life and still not being enough. Take out their sacred foundry. Mm, no, I'm take out their monastery. <sighs> yeah, those creatures did a lot of work.
I don't want the Sylvan Scream. We kind of have to hit a threat, though. Nothing. Okay, well, we can Sylvan Scrying for Blast Zone. Let's go Sphere. Crack that. And then go Blast Zone. See if we're still dead. We're probably still <laughs> dead. <laughs> uh, do you have two burn spells or a Boris trauma part? Do ya? This might be crazy, but I'm running out the Elliston in case they have a smash. Does it connect? Ow, it connected! It connected! <laughs> oh, we did it! We did it! Oh. Like that makes up for the fact that we gained 17 life in game two and still lost. Oh, that was insane. How did they just did so much damage? <laughs> Holy crap. This hand can do it. This hand can get there. We'll keep this. Kinda of suspicious of them. I 
I feel like it's a stone blade deck. That's fine. I went that line, by the way, because uh, I can Sylvan Scrying, and if I could have got that off, I would have been able to Sylvan Scrying again and leaving the Ancient Stories to find a threat. So incredibly rude. I just have to pass. I probably should have stirrings there, even if I didn't get the draw. Yeah. Esper stone blade? Or is this straight up Esper control? I'm sure they have a counter. Yeah, we just, we're like so out of this game at this point. They're going to make us discard two and then discard two again. I, I think we're just good here. I guess technically we have a chance, but I don't know. It's not worth my time, I don't think, here. I want to bring in the veils, dip on that and that. I think that's it. Force. Oh my gosh, what a savage. I hope they don't have another one for this uh, map. <laughs> Ah. 
How savage. <laughs> but we're professionals. This is why I'm a Tron player. tilting for them they had like two answers on the spot to our double map and we just rip it off the top <laughs> oh we're savage we are savages i'm actually gonna bring this emrakul and i'm gonna trim a ballista mm, no we'll trim an ulamog Tan's a little interesting. Why would they waste the counter on the map? The countering on the map is a pretty solid play. There's a strong chance that I didn't have anything to back it up after that. Like, they, they have to be on the plan um, usually where they're just trying to stop us from going off. And so it's just what they have to do. Because the alternative is that they let us form Tron, and then if they let us form Tron, then anything we draw off the top of the deck becomes relevant, where the, the way they played it, it only makes us so... No, no. So, like, if they, if they don't counter the map and we don't have just Tron naturally, every single payoff spell that we get is dead. The line they took, they left us with just four, specifically four uh, towers or another map in our um, in order to go off, and they've already seen it. So, seen two of them. This is going to be a feel bad. I just know it. Oh, <gasps> got there. We're so lucky. I know! I was expecting a snare, or a force, or a pierce, anything. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have the mythical turn for Ulamog. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thanks, Niv and Did. It, it took all that bad luck from us, and we're just left with all this amazing luck. I don't even care. We're doing this. We're doing this. Come on, baby! Don't stifle bird me. Do not stifle bird me. I 
I think they're deciding between whether or not, or not they want to counter bounce a land to keep a land or counter. Oh, well, yeah, so that's fine too. Or counter bounce our worm coil. So. That's <laughs> some West Side mentality. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, on our turn, we'll have a veil, so they go to counter our worm coil, we'll have a veil to back it up. I'm probably just being super paranoid, but I'm going to grab this spyglass. Alright, they've got a snap, a Kaya's. Okay. They have their own card. How cool. Those are the deadest hits I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't want to run out the uh, lattice into the counter spell.
Last card. What do you got? Another snap for a ceremonious. Got exactly enough for an Emrakul. Our turn for them should be pretty devastating. At least they knew to fetch right now. Got a Jace, a Karn. We could pop the Blast Zone, or cast the Kaya's Guile. I don't think that does anything either way. So I think we'll just pop the Blast Zone. You can't tick up the Blast Zone and blow it. You can only, we're only gonna get one turn, so. The option right now is just either casting the, uh, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing in their side where we want to get it looks like. We'll swing with the snap, so I'm just going to make them lose their land. And then they'll swing their snap into... So that's a land that got one unknown in hand. We couldn't block it. Where uh our worm coil was already tapped. So we would have just been taking two damage. Oh, I guess we should have cast that Guile. We gave them an extra turn. Yeah, we're done. You want either way. Yeah, we wouldn't want to swing with both snaps. If we swing with both snaps, we could only block one. Right? So would we just been taking free damage?
Yeah, but they're not tapped out. They because they get to go to their turn and they untap. Oh, this is bad. We're going to four. Going to three. Go to two. We'll keep. Yeah, baby. I just need to hit runner, runner. Oh, baby. <laughs> Have a good night, sweetie Pooh. Thanks for joining me tonight, man. stone I gotta say, for a multi two, this was pretty good. This is a turn four, Tron. 
but I think we're going to keep this because we can nature's claim them off of their potential hand. No, we oh, no. They have not. It, it's if we're on the play, we could. Being on the draw means we can't. Oh, no, we, yeah, we're good. Never mind. We lost. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I thought we won for a second, so we're good. Oh, we, we have the we have the turn three trial. We gotta go for that. Just need a payoff. Come on, deck. Ooh. Opportunity. Okay, okay. Oh man, they had it anyway. All right, hit our power plant. Hit our power plant. Hit the power plant. Nope, they hit the tower. I'm really not supposed to crack that there, but I have a feeling it doesn't matter. Nope, is that a... Oh, they just have the lock. Okay. Lattice, we're done here. So nope. Yep. We're so lucky. We're so good at this game. We're so good at this game.
Now, if they have their own Karn, we'll be able to keep it off the board, but... Yeah. Yep. We've got to exile ours. We'll wipe the board. What are the chances they have another mine? Come on, pay off. Nope. No, oh, man, <laughs> the lattice locked us. That's sad. That is sad. <sighs> Tron is messing us up. It's you know what? It's obviously because I moved away from Tron for such a long time and it's supposed to be my deck and it's punishing me for leaving it. That is clearly what's happening. <laughs> yeah, it is at least 50-50. Uh, I think I'm gonna pitch the Ballista. We've just got Tron, so we can Stirrings here for a payoff. That's a Karn Liberated. So they've got Tron, so we have to exile this mine. They probably shouldn't have shown us that mine like that. Floating five, six. Six. 
so lucky. Nothing! Nothing! You get no par minutes on the board, opponent. None! <gasps> They're a factory player! I'm gonna take that from them as well. hand could do it. They're down to five. Four. They're on four. Mold a four for it. Huh? Oh, yes, we're so lucky. We're so lucky. Oh, they have the tower. But we've got the Ula, the Karn, Karn father. The Tron, the Tron luck is flowing back to us. Okay, it's, it's coming back. It knows, it knows who the real Karn Father belongs to. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Last match of the night. Let's do this. Four and one. Thank you so much for the follow, RUC memory. Not 
good enough. Also not good enough. And left turn 97. I guess we'll keep this hand. Why would you, why would you wish that evil on us? Why, why would why would you do that? <laughs> They might have hand disruption. We're just going to start now. Probably Mardu Pyromancer. Maybe not. I mean Mardu Shadow. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> it's all coming together. Alright, if they hit a land, they can't cast Gormog, so we're okay to pass, because if they crack the fetch, then we'll hit them. Carn Daddy. Alright, we're just gonna crack this relic. We need to just hit cards here. I'm gonna grab Blast Zone. Normally wouldn't be releasing these Sylvan Scryings like this, but I'd rather just get the land drops. They have a lot of hand hate, and I don't want it to get uh, caught up in not having it. And I want Blast Zone because then we can actually get our Karn Great Creator back. Yeah, that's good to know. Destroy target land. You and uh, you and Sweetie Pooh will probably get along well. Stick this up. I'm gonna take the two here just in case they have another tight hollow. We don't have enough to do the lock. But at the very least we can protect our Karn. That's fine. The standard bridge should just... Okay. 
Oh yeah, keeping the land hand. That's a good call, destroy. We think they have another bolt. They might. We'll just uptick and pass. Oh, they're bolting themselves. I was like, what's their target? All right, let's bring in Thrag in both veils. They have... Mm -mm -mm. I want to trim the ballistas and an Ulamog. This hand has a lot of potential. It can form itself pretty well. Double giver. Yeah, we did wrap up, uh, we did run a five-colored Nev, went, uh, I think we went 0-5 with it. <laughs> so we're, uh, switched off and went on to Tron.
Sure. They could choose to kill our Karn. Then we would Ulamog them. Okay, they're just swinging. I think our play is to map for a... Blast Zone. Oh, they conceded. Baller. So this deck, uh, so I like it, um, the main deck. The only thing I'm ever iffy on is the Dismember. I've just never been a fan of the card. Um, and then other than that, the sideboard, I'm pretty happy with this uh, iteration. Um, the only thing I've always thought about is whether or not we should have a threat in the sideboard. But... Other than that, I've yeah, I prefer a fourth KGC as well. Um, so I think in my list I was on this. Let me take a look. Yeah, this is my version that I was playing around with a bit ago. Um, I'm on three lands because I wanted the factory. I want no relics, no interaction, um, really. So I'm on four great creators, a world breaker, um, and only one ballista. And then in my sideboard, I was on two, two, two of the green threats here. And then I have a Cage, a Pithy Needle, Relic, Liquid Metal, Torpor, and Steering Bridge, Trinisphere, Witchbane, and a Michael Zinth. I was on the um, the Witchbane for the Scape Shift decks because they were just showing up in a, a ton. But other than that, I think that's it. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me tonight. Um, I'm a big fan of World Breaker Main right now, to be honest. Um, I actually, if I was on a straight mono green list, I, was, I would be on two World Breakers. Um... And uh, if I was not playing the uh, the great creator package, I, I think having the fifth and sixth pseudo uh, Karn here is pretty big because there there is a lot of Tron going on right now, and Worldbreaker is pretty backbreaking against a lot of decks being able to exile it, and it is pretty hard to deal with. It's a recurring threat over and over. Thank you so much, RacerZen001, for the follow. Um, for everybody that is joining me right now, I am logging off for the night. I'll be back next week, Sunday most likely. I do stream most Sundays at 6 p.m. The only time that gets in the way of that is when I am traveling uh, for Magic. Next week doesn't have a big tournament, and neither does the following week, so I do plan on playing. Um, have a great night, everyone. If there is a deck you guys want me to see, you guys want me to play just let me know i'm always happy to swap out into any deck otherwise i usually just play the decks that i am planning on playing with for stream uh streaming and testing so again have a wonderful night and have a great night everyone oh i said that just twice <laughs>